Step 1 Bio Urban Waste Collection from Cheer Canteen. We go by an authorized vehicle to the Cheer to collect the bags containing the food waste accumulated at this canteen. Step 2 We remove the food waste from the bags and load them into tiltable buckets. Step 3. The food waste is crowned using a two-shafts shredder designed and realized in the project. The ground material is collected in a tiltable bucket. Step 4. The material collected is weighed by using a platform scale the weight of the material is recorded in the by-products register. Step 5. The ground material is then homogenized using a horizontal homogenizer designed and built within the project. Step 6. A representative sample of the homogenized material is withdrawn and subjected to moisture content determination and proximate analysis. Step 7. The homogenized material is evenly distributed in plastic trays and becomes substrate for the growth of the larvae of black soldier fly. Each tray contains between 7 and 9 kilograms of substrate. Step 8. In a nursery, the adults of black soldier fly mate and the females lay their eggs in special patented devices from which the eggs are collected. Step 9. A precise quantity of larvae five days old obtained by weighing is introduced into each plastic tray. Step 10. The plastic trays so prepared are then introduced into the bioconversion unit. Step 11 an aspiration and regulation system for temperature and relative humidity, not included in the initial design, became necessary during the development of the project to favor the final substrate to be sufficiently dry and easily separable from the larvae. Step 12. Black soldier fly larvae grow up by feeding on the substrate. They increase in size and on average in 10-15 days they reach an advanced larval stage. Step 13. The plastic trays are then overturned on a vibrating screen that allows the separation of the residual material containing frass from the black soldier fly larvae. Step 14. After being stabilized, the black soldier fly larvae are ground using a meat grinder adapted for the purpose. Subsequently, this material is fractionated into lipids, proteins and chitin using a biphasic decanter centrifuge designed and built within the project.